It was terrible. I was drinking 24-7, wanted to die, I didn't have a life. I tried to detox myself and it didn't work, I suffered fits. Alcohol took over, took over my life. The aim of the unit is to enable people who have been affected by substances, uh, i.e. alcohol and drugs, to actually go through a detox and, as part of their recovery journey, get on with their lives, basically, and lead a fulfilling life. They are at the centre of everything we do. People are here because they want to be. They are choosing to come into the unit. Um, we're not a locked unit. Sometimes it just takes eight days, so you'll have the physical detox, which takes six days. And within eight days, the person, their body language is different. They feel better about who they are. You know, they've got a bit more of a purpose in life. They've got, you know, they know that it's going to take a long time for them to get there. Um, you know, then this is only the start of the journey. I got involved in the unit as a patient. Uh, Two and a half a year ago, I came in for a two week detox and it actually saved, it saved my life. So when I was in group one morning, two of the staff asked me what, what aim and what goal had I in life and I said, well, I'd like to work in here. And they said to me, your dream can come through, you can reach that goal. So when I left here, I worked hard and, and voluntary position came up, I applied for it. So it was giving back what I got out of here. It was very rewarding. We also offer a, quite a range of alternative therapies. It's all about making people feel good about themselves while they're here. You know, so a lot of people are coming and they haven't been touched. They haven't had the physical touch for years maybe so you know they can come in and they can have a massage or they can come in and they can have Reiki or acupuncture and it and they, they come out of the, the alternative therapy room and they're floating and and they're relaxed and they haven't you know I, I didn't know I could feel that without doing using something or you know wow I've not forever felt this before and it's fantastic to see. As a result of um, substance misuse at the time I sort of social life and, and, and career and education sort of fell by the wayside, spiraled out of control and then um, as I progressed onto sort of class A drugs, heroin and crack cocaine that led me up to um, about the age of 27 and um, it just became apparent that my life was a complete mess. What you want to do is manage that person, get them to a place where the doctor can actually as fully assess them, and it's, I'm talking about a full physical assessment and a psychological assessment, and actually make sure that we're helping them to manage their withdrawals. I went to rehab, um, didn't quite get it the first time. I tried again in 2009 when I moved from Preston, where I was living at the time of a family in Preston. Moved to Portsmouth, went for a treatment centre in Portsmouth, a tier, tier 4 treatment centre. And um, yeah, I've been clean ever since. From my point of view, um, I've saw many people that, that came through our services, through mental health services, who also had a, had a dual diagnosis, so basically a mental health issue and a substance misuse issue. And they languished for many, for many months on a, an acute psychiatric unit, um, with, with no leave, so they were not able to leave the unit without, without an escort on, under a section of the Mental Health Act. As soon as they were granted leave, they'd leave the unit, they'd drink or they'd use substances, they'd have their leave taken away and they'd be back to square one. This unit is very open. People work, we work here with personal responsibility. People are here because they want to be. They're able to, to, to leave the unit out of group times um, for a maximum of 45 minutes as long as they're with another peer so it'll be somebody usually that's been in the program for longer have been on the unit for longer and it's about actually you know they can go into a shop they can see they can see alcohol they can re feel the feelings that they feel come back and talk about it in group because that's real rather than being locked away this this place is my baby it's my passion so caused a few sleepless nights along the way but I'm really proud of this what we do here <laughs>